Hey everybody, so these are going to be my May beauty favorites for 2015. This month went by really, really fast. The past month, couple months have, honestly, I guess, because we have a baby, time flies, I don't know. But uh, yeah, it's the last day of May, and I thought I would film the favorite things I've been using this month. There's not too many, so it should be a pretty quick video. The first one I'm going to start with uh, is actually surprising to me because I intended on having this in an empties and I was going to kind of bash it because I didn't feel like it was really working. I've had it for a number of months now. I got it for my birthday back in February. And what I'm talking about is called Rapid Lash Eyelash and Eyebrow Enhancing Serum. I believe this was purchased at Costco. And it's just one of those serums for your eyelashes. I've heard good things about Revitalash and Latisse, I think it's called. They're both pretty pricey. This one's not as expensive. This is just called Rapid Lash, and I wanted to try it out. I have been really diligent about making sure that I put this on every single night. So it's not one of those cases where I'm kind of using it on and off, and therefore the results are a little bit skewed. I have honestly been using this every single night. And for the first probably almost two months, I would say I didn't see any difference at all. So like I said, I was gonna bash it in the next empties video. But in the past month, so I've been using it three months now, my eyelashes have started to grow and it's amazing. They're getting longer, they're getting thicker, it's noticeably different in the way they look and even when I'm doing my mascara, like, I don't know, I live with my eyelashes every day so I can tell when there's a difference and it's finally working. So, I mean, it's a lot less expensive than, the, than Latisse or what's it called? Revitalash, that's what it's called. Um, but this one took forever to work. so. I don't know, that's a favorite because it's finally working, but what I recommend it, probably not. Alright, the next one I've been using again is called Super Goop. It's really dirty, but um, I've been loving this. I just can't wear it when I'm super, super pale. It's the shade Light to Medium. I have it on right now, and it's, um, I can only really wear it when I have a bit of a tan happening. It's not super dark, but I can't wear it at my natural pale skin color. So now that the sun is out, I'm out more often, I've got more color, I've been wearing it again and I love it. It's just an easy product, it's got really good coverage and it's got SPF and it's probably one of my favorite um, CC or BB creams and I believe I did a review on it. I hope I did anyways. I'll leave it down below if you want to check out more about it, but I love it. The next one's a hair product and I only recently got this and it's from the company Alba Botanica. I love this company. I buy lots of things from them and I buy it from vitacost.com. I actually did a haul, I don't know if it's going to be up before this video, but I'm putting it up on my main channel. If, the, if I have the link I'll leave it down below if you want to see all the things I bought from Vitacost, but I would definitely check out that website if you haven't yet because I use it all the time. Anyways, this is the Hawaiian Deep Conditioning Minute Mask. It's a hair mask. And I just love this brand. It's all natural and everything's got like cocoa butter in it. Oh, it smells so good. Look how thick it is. A little goes a long way. I would compare it similar to the um, Macadamia Oil Deep Repair, Hair Repair Mask. I would say that one is possibly a little bit more hydrating, but they're really comparable. And it smells delicious. And it makes my hair so shiny and soft, so I love it. Okay, the next couple are more makeup products. This blush I've been wearing a lot recently. I've been wearing a lot of cream blushes. I think I put a lot of cream blushes. I'm just checking my monitor because my baby's sleeping. Um, I think I put them in my last favorites video, but I've been loving cream blushes. This one I've had forever. It's this Stila convertible color in Peony. And I just use it with a small stipple brush and it's the most naturally pretty color blush. I can wear it with everything and I don't know. I'm really liking the finish of cream blushes. I've been reaching for them a lot. The last two products are eyeshadows. The first one is the Tarte Poppy Picnic newer to me purchase eyeshadow palette. That's what I have on my eyes right now. That's all I have on my eyes. It's just a neutral palette and I really like the colors and they're all matte. It's been coming in super, super handy. And the last one is an oldie but a goodie. It's just an easy one. It's the Sahara Treasure Eyeshadow by L'Oreal Infallible. So that's it. Sahara Treasure and that's the color there. It's just one of those colors that you can put all over the lid and up into the crease and it kind of changes in the light. So in your crease it looks a bit darker, it looks a bit shinier on your lid. So it's one color and done. It's just really, really easy. And I like easy these days, so I've been reaching for that. So yeah, that's all my favorites for May 2015. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye!